in this video I'm going to talk about SM Player. SM Player is a multimedia video player for Linux. Now it's also used in Windows and I think it can also be on Mac so it's referred to as a cross-platform multimedia player. Now I don't have it currently installed on my system just yet so if you're looking at this on YouTube I will have a link below the video that shows you all the steps for installing it so if I, you see something on this video you don't have to pause it or write it down that you can go and copy and paste the information here to install it but before I do let me give you a little brief description of what SM Player is and the reason I like it SM Player as I already said is a cross-platform multimedia player that's capable of playing most of the major video files across the internet. It supports a wide variety of codecs, which means it can play AVI files, MP4 files, MKV files, MOV files, the DVIX files, the H.264 files, and more. Uh, and I'm not going to go through and uh, name a list of others. But here's the two things that make it very popular, at least the reason why I like it. It can play YouTube videos. It allows you to search uh, for videos on YouTube, and it also allows you to search the videos and uh, download subtitles and watch the YouTube videos without actually open a browser and putting YouTube.com and searching for videos and watching them through the browser. And here's the feature that I like about it the most, is it now supports Chromecast meaning that if I have the SM player installed on my system and I have a video on my computer I can then send it to my television that has the Chromecast device hooked to my HDMI 2 the one in my bedroom and I'll show you more about that in just a moment but when I get to the Chromecast section you're not going to be able to see it on the television but you can tell it's playing through the uh, interactive the Google that it'll bring up on the screen alright to start with let's install it to install it, you go sudo at repository. You have to add the repository. So I'm going to bring up my terminal. And I'm going to paste this in the terminal. And then I'm going to press the enter key or the return key. Put in my password. And it's going to go through and add the uh, PPA to the repository after I press the enter key. And one thing I do like about this, it says uh, in order to uh, for SM player from to get from this install from this PPA you need to run these commands from the terminal and that's what I just run up here so the next thing I need to update my PPA after it installs the PPA and then this is the command line that we're going to install so I press the enter key so it basically tells you what you have to do when you put the PPA at the top now while that is a uh, uh, installing the PPA here's the steps we did this I've got this on the clipboard and then after we update our repositories then we're going to install this command line and that's all we do. Notice it's going to install the SM player, the SM tube that allows us to uh, get on YouTube and watch YouTube videos and search for YouTube videos. We're going to install the themes so we can change the looks of it and the skins to it so we can give it uh, a different appearance. Next we're going to update our repository. Oh, I hit copy but there was nothing there to copy. Now we hit update. While it's updating the repositories, I'm going to copy this entire command. Right click copy. And when it finishes, I'm going to paste it in my terminal. Paste it in the terminal, press the enter key or the return key. And press Y that we want to install. Okay, uh, while it's installing, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down on my webpage beyond the point of installing. These were the steps I just did. Now, if you need to uninstall, if you don't like the program, uh, here's the uh, uninstall. You just do this, copy that line, put it in your terminal, and it will remove it from your system. Because I've already installed it, and I know it works, and that's what I did to uninstall it. Now, this is it's going, what it's going to look like uh, when we finish installing it. All right, it's finished, so let me type the exit command. Now I'm going to minimize my browser. I'm going to go through my applications, sound and video, and you notice here in alphabetical order that it installed an SM player and the SM tube player that allows me to watch YouTube videos. I'm going to click on the SM player. Now it looks very basic. Uh, it looks extremely basic. So if you don't like the skins, and I know on my webpage I have it down below toward the bottom of the list, but if you want to give it a different look, go to Options, 
click on your preference options or uh, preferences scroll down to where it says interface or click on interface not scroll down but click on the interface commands and here is where you're going to change your uh, look and appearance of your player now it does support I think 30 different languages I'm gonna leave it on the default or the system language because I speak English alright the mini GUI the graphical user interface it has other user interfaces as well I particularly like the skinnable uh, GUI but I'm gonna leave it on mini for a moment here's really where you change most of the looks it's on tango by default they changed it from the old default look and when I hit apply it's going to apply the setting and hit OK and it now changes the appearance that's what it used to look like and then they made the new t default tango which they still have default called default it's kinda of funny you can go through and change uh, like I, you can choose dark hit apply hit OK you can see it went dark now here's where I said it's the mini GUI here's the basic GUI that's very basic looking then you have the let me go back to the interface you have the, the mini is the default MPC GUI hit apply there's the MPC GUI and then you have the skinnable and, and in my personal preference this is my favorite one where it says skinnable GUI hit apply and that's the one that I like the best I know it looks kinda of cartoony fi but when you go to maximize the screen you don't see any of the bars above and below and when you hover at the bottom it will appear I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna open up my Kaha file manager and I'm gonna go into my videos folder where I have three video files Big Buck Bunny uh, and two other videos. I'm going to click on to the Big Buck Bunny. It's the one of the shortest. And I'm not double clicking because when I do, that's my default player. I'm going to choose, and I've been installing others because I have had a trouble with my VLC when it's maximized to full screen. And I go across the bottom, the little bar at the across the bottom, uh, it doesn't appear. So I've been looking for a solution for that. Uh, in the meantime, I've been installing others because I might eventually change my default program. But let me bring up the SM player to play Big Buck Bunny. And I'm going to minimize the background. I've turned the volume down. You can adjust the volume. And when you adjust the volume, you can see it on the screen. But I'm going to turn it all the way down so I'm not competing uh, with the audio from the video uh, from the video itself. Now, one thing I like about uh, Big Buck Bunny, or not Big Buck Bunny, but the SM player is that you can create yourself some thumbnails now to create thumbnails you go to your video and at the very bottom you got a thumbnail generator which brings up a thumbnail generator dialog box you can create uh, by default it will create thumbnails four columns and four rows of images to represent your video if you want more columns and more rows you can increase or decrease the numbers and then you could say add playing time so if you want the timestamp with the image and a lot of times if you're ty putting the images you want a timestamp on it so if you see something in the thumbnails you'll know the exact time that you want to advance the video for you can change some of the aspect ratios and the sackets to skip uh, before you start taking images and the maximum width I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK for the default and it's gonna generate myself as you can see it's creating thumbnails it's scanning quickly through the entire video and it's going to generate me a 4x4 four four images of my video then I can hit save and put it into a folder and it will save it as a JPEG file which will look exactly like what's on my screen as you can see here I have four columns four rows and it does have the timestamp so if you don't want the times on the images just uncheck that option that you don't want to display the timestamp now I'm going to close rather than saving it now that's one feature I like about the SM players that you can create thumb uh, nails images for the video that you're looking at. The best feature that I like SM player for that I don't really see on other multimedia players for Linux or Windows is the ability to cast this to my Chromecast device. If you click on the play menu scroll down to cast to and you can click on Chromecast it will bring up your Google Chrome browser and I've already got a tab up for my web page here's the the tab now to my Chromecast it says send the content to your Chromecast right now I'm not connected so if I uh, hit the play button it's only going to play on in, within the player and it will not send it to my TV 
Now before you connect to Chromecast, you turn your television on and you go to the HDMI setting of your Chromecast. Mine just happens to be on HDMI 2, uh, the TV in my bedroom does. And it's turned on now, I know you can't see it, uh, and it's set to HDMI 2. So I'm going to say connect to Chromecast. Now I'm not going to click on details, that reveals my IP address and then it shows the basically the name of my television and if you want to add subtitles you can choose this option as well but for now I'm going to hit connect to Chromecast and when I do it brings up this little option of choosing which Chromecast that I want to send it to and since I only have one and it's connected to my bedroom and I named it bedroom I click on bedroom alright now before I start playing I, uh, the video when I hit this button in just a few moments it's going to change my browser up here to where it looks like it has a, this bar across the bottom it will be something very similar across the top indicating I can use my laptop or you can use your desktop system as a remote control to the video that's sent to your television so when I hit play on Chromecast it's now paused because it's paused on my video player but I, now these controls no, it started playing. It played by default. But if I wanted to pause it, I could press the pause button. I could resume by clicking again the play button. I can stop the video. I can rewind the video. I can forward uh, progress the video. I can mute the sound. I can turn the volume down. So right now I can hear it in my bedroom. I can turn the volume down by keep clicking this. And now I can't. The volume's so low and my bedroom's down the hall. But if I want to turn the volume up, I turn it up here. and I can hear it now I'm gonna turn it down I'm gonna mute it All right, I'm not gonna play the whole nine minute part so let me go ahead and hit stop and I'm gonna say disconnect from Chromecast and now my TV in my bedroom should be back onto the wallpaper images that's displayed on my screen through my Chromecast and that's how you send what's on your in your SM player so if you had a movie that you're watching, if you put a DVD or Blu-ray and you don't have a Blu-ray player or DVD player connected to your television, you could play it on your computer and send it to Chromecast it to your television. That's a feature I like about the SM player. Let me close this out now. Another feature I like about the SM player is the ability to go to YouTube. Now, uh, the YouTube has the YouTube browser that I can go to view YouTube browser I'll click on that and it's gonna categorize them I think the first one by the popular you can click on this you can see like comedy videos that it recommends sports videos pets music and there's also another feature that's added to your menu if you come over here and look under sound SM tube is placed under SM player SM tube is basically the same thing that when I went through my menu and accessed it. Here I can use the search feature. So if I want to say Linux video players, press the enter key, it's going to go out and look for media players for Linux. And if I wanted to, I could click on this uh, and start watching it. I'll, I'll do it briefly, watch it pop up. Is it in the background? Uh -oh, something's wrong with that link somebody made it where it's not linkable or playable let me click this one there it goes it started off a little fuzzy but then now it's playing I'm not going to turn the body up, volume up but as you can see it played the video within uh, this SM player uh, and that's a feature that I like as well and since if you wanted to you could open up a YouTube video since it's playing within your SM player you could go play and send it to your Chromecast and watch YouTube so if you don't have a smart TV you could still watch YouTube videos on your TV that's not a smart TV now those are just some of the features of the SM player uh, I may eventually start adding more information within uh, on my web page with additional links and, and maybe make additional YouTube videos but that pretty well sums up the SM player it's very similar to the VLC player but like I said the features I like about that is the ability to search on YouTube and the ability to use the Chromecast feature it's excellent for playing videos you can go full screen without seeing I didn't mean to do that you can go full screen without uh, seeing all the bars above and I didn't show that 
you can click the full screen button and when you don't move your mouse uh, the bar across the bottom will go away and it plays clear and I do have the volume muted still and when you bring it back you can hit the stop button so it's very responsive it's very quick it's very clear the sound quality is excellent so if you're looking for an alternative player or another player for your Linux machine or even a Windows machine and possibly the Mac machine I don't own a Mac uh, download and install SM player give it a try it has a lot a lot of features I think you'll enjoy it and have a great day